All right, guys, so my new tubes came in. Um, I ordered a Ruby tube, uh, EL34 BSTRs, and uh, a Ruby tube uh, 12AX7. Um, I know a lot of people, like, I mean, if you look at reviews of Ruby tubes, like half the people love them, half the people don't. I, I'm, I fall into the half that love them. I think uh, they're a great value for, uh, you know, a good tube. I mean, they're they're one of the cheaper, you know, name brand tubes. But um, you know, I think they've they've got a great sound. Um, and I've tried different kinds. I've tried, you know, Electroharmonix and Groove tubes and stuff. And and I do like the Ruby better. So um, and they're a little cheaper. So. Uh, yeah, I went with the Ruby Tube uh, EL34. I also have a Groove Tube Groove Tubes 12 AT7 that I'm going to try because um, apparently that'll cut the gain a little bit on the amp. Um, to where right now with the way the, the Ruby Tubes are in there, they're both basically high gain tubes. So this this amp now has a lot more beef than uh, than it did in the other video. Um, this is the volume on the amp at. Uh, like about 10, 11 o'clock. So this is kind of turned down. And you're still getting some distortion there. Where with the other tubes in there, the 6V6 and the, the stock 12AX7, you weren't getting any distortion until a little after 12 o'clock. So...
And also, before with the other tubes in it, when it was cranked, if I backed the volume off on the guitar, I could still get it clean a little bit, uh, where I can't do that. Uh, now with the with the tubes in there, so um, I like the the power tube, the thirty, the Yell thirty four, but I, but I think the gain problem could be solved with putting the other tube in there, and, and I'll probably do another video if that ends up working. Um, but yeah, changing the tubes uh, really, um, you know, it uh, it changed the tone response of the amp a lot too. The the neck pickup sounds completely different in this thing. It really sounds a lot fuller. Um, it's not just all bass, you know. It's got some some uh, highs in there. Um, it changed the response of the knob, the tone knob. Like now, I, I had to turn. It was too too mid rangey and too trebly, so I had to turn it down from where I had it before. And, and um, I don't know. It's just pretty cool. That's what I like about having just two tubes in this amp to where to try out another kind of tube. Uh, you don't have to like go to an electrician to do it, and you also uh, it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg because there's only two tubes, you know. So um, it's just pretty cool being able to just switch them out and see what sounds different and see what sounds better. And uh, um, you know, I think I like it with the Yell 34s, but uh, I'm going to try other tubes. Uh, but I've always liked the Yell 34s. Like you know, I had a DSL 100 Marshall half stack, and you know, I always put 34s in that and. Um, I've just always been that kind of British crunch kind of sound, uh, is what I've liked, so. Oh, the other thing I found out, um, just in case, uh, the foot switch, you have to engage the, the, the boost on the on the amp and then put the foot switch in to be able to work it. So uh, before in the other video, I thought the foot switch didn't work and that was like, but uh, the foot switch works uh, really good. It seems like with the, with the higher gain tubes in there, um, the boost is responding more. Uh, like I said, I'm probably going to um, put another video up. If uh, putting a 12 AT7 in the preamp makes any difference, I'll, I'll uh, put a video up and let you guys know that. But, uh, yeah, uh, questions or comments, hit me up, all about the vapor at gmail.com, and uh, we'll see you next time.